I'm Turtle Jackson, and I approve of this message. How did you get the nickname Turtle? Well, I got the nickname Turtle from my mom. My mom's a nurse in the hospital. Um, she was getting an ultrasound, and the nurse said that you're having a turtle. So I was, as a boy, I was a turtle, and girls would call hamburgers too. Why do you play basketball? I play basketball because I love the game. I love everything about it. I love the feeling when you have the ball in your hands and it's like all eyes are on you. And I'm very competitive. So I really like to be challenged and, and to conquer a lot of other things. So basketball is like my first love. Do you there feel you as if basketball is who you are or do you think there's more behind it? Uh, basketball is not who I am. It's something that I do. You know, basketball doesn't make me. It's a hobby that I have. There's, there's been a uh, couple of times in my life that I've, I've walked away from basketball because I felt as if it was a job. I still get tired of sometimes, but it's just like the love for my family because no one in my family ever uh, ever made it. And I, I feel as if I should be the one that that, that goes to the next step as in, as in the pros. Where do you see yourself in three years? I see myself in the pros. Playing for the Hawks, hopefully, and giving back to my community. How has your dad inspired you and helped you through this journey? He's inspired me a lot because he's, he's pushed me more than anybody else. He's my biggest fan. My father's always been there for me. He's always told me that if I don't quit on him, he won't, he won't quit on me. So. How has your son affected your life through basketball? Well, he's gave me a, a new energy for his, uh, being a parent because he took me on a journey that I wanted to be on as a child myself. So it's been a pleasure. I just appreciate everything he's, he's, he's done in my life. I am number 30. Why? Because the most three important things in our lives are the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the zero stands for there's nothing else um, close to that. What keeps me going is, is, is really my family because nobody in my family ever made it. Like we had people that was all Americans in high school but just walked away from the game where their grades weren't well, so I keep going for them because I want to show them that, that somebody in my family can make it because they call me the last one. And they think I'm like the last hope for the family. Explain to us about your knee injury and how that affected you and your basketball. Well, I tore 80% of my meniscus, so I wasn't uh, able to play basketball for around six or seven months. So it was a very emotion, emotional um, process. and. It just it showed me how quickly God can give and take away, and it showed me that you know education is, is key because you can't play basketball always. So it, it really made me a bigger man more than anything else. I feel as if um, I can make a difference because I can show other kids that they can do whatever they want to and be whoever they want to wherever they're at. Um, if they see that I can make it from let's say Athens Christian, a small Christian school, and I can go to the pros, then you can do whatever you want to. But they used to say that I could drill a ball before I could walk, so that's what's been a part of my life for a long time. Yeah. Well, we've been training since he was two years old. He didn't like uh, football. He said it was too violent. Baseball was too slow. And I guess he fell in love with basketball. I'm looking forward to his uh, college years, and hopefully he'll get a degree. If he happened to make it to in the NBA, God bless. Do you have any pre-game traditions? During my introductions, I have like signs that I do that mean a lot to me. What is one of your signs? Uh, a little sign. I've been doing it since the fifth grade because uh -huh. I saw um, Kobe Bryant in high school. He did it during one of his introductions, and I felt like I would play better if I did it. So ever since then, I, I've done it. This means uh, it's not great gra grammar, but um, ain't no way around it. Like you know, people are gonna show you who they are, and you have to accept it. So whoever they are, then you, then you have to just accept them and there's no way around it. So just play ball and be positive. And then I shake the dice because, you know, it's a song that I listen to and it says he used to roll dice, but now he's all right. So it shows that that I came a long way from my past and that I don't have to roll any dice anymore. I can just play ball and, and be focused and ready. For the do you think you will make it to state this year? Yes, ma'am, I do. I think that we will win the state championship this year. It's probably going to be Coach Link last year, so I want to go out with a bang. I, I usually have Subway for the game. I go take a nap and 
play video games. <laughs> I see like lions chasing after gazelles, it just frees my mind and I feel as if it's, it's, it's a part of me. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, like, what you, say? you do. Awesome. Yeah. I can't say that. Just say it. <laughs> Something that relaxes my mind. And Man, this is not a thing matter. I'm sorry. I don't really turn up or anything. <laughs>